foot to the floor on the desert floor. Rocketing up to 900 kilometers an hour in South Africa's Kalahari Desert, this car, created by British company Bloodhound, is still in its testing phase. They hope to get to the point where it can compete to break the land speed record of 1,223 kilometers an hour, the fastest speed achieved by a person in a vehicle on land. That's 900 kilometers an hour out of the way. We're now going to target something uh, round about 980, see how that goes. And if we can uh, get that fast, we'll see if we can sneak it up towards 1,000. That is about as fast as we can go on the 16 kilometers we have available here. The 16 kilometer stretch is located in the bed of a dried out lake in the Kalahari Desert, one of few places in the world flat enough to shoot for such speeds. It's an out of the ordinary car with an engine to match. The vehicle is powered by a fighter plane's jet engine, which will later be reinforced with an additional one from a rocket. And it's all carried on top of four lightweight aluminium wheels. So the car, as it is a car, it has a steering wheel, has a throttle pedal, has a brake pedal. Um, the total power while we're in South Africa this year is about 50,000, 54,000 brake horsepower, which is about nine tonnes of thrust. When it comes to finding a qualified driver, you'd struggle to do better than Andy Green, holder of the current land speed record since 1997, and a fighter pilot in Britain's Royal Air Force. It's a very set different sensation, it's a very different environment, it's a very different vehicle, but the, but the skill sets needed in terms of monitoring the high speed, controlling it, making the decisions based on a considered response of the, does this look right, is it safe to carry on? That is exactly like flying a, uh, you know, a high performance jet fighter at the limit of its performance. But this major operation, setting up the vehicles, staff and infrastructure in the middle of a desert, comes with an inevitable carbon footprint. Bloodhound recognised this, but hoped that their activities will have a net positive impact in the long run. This project inspires people to do engineering and we're going to solve the problem of the future with more engineers developing new technologies, becoming faster, more efficient, um, becoming carbon neutral. All these things need developing and designing and engineering is the way that will get solved. So if we can help to inspire engineers to do that, then we're doing our part. With the first phase of testing complete, Bloodhound are back in the UK with their return to the South African desert planned for the summer of 2021. By then, they hope to come equipped with an extra rocket engine, a boost that they hope will enable them to set a new land speed record.